Well, perfect start to uh, the day uh, and the perfect start to me doing those videos. So it came down to the lab and this tank, which was perfectly level, cracked and has been leaking overnight onto the floor. I've actually already done a bunch and then I'm like, wait a minute, I should show people this and do a video. So this is what happens when you have hundreds and hundreds of tanks. The opportunity for a crack can happen. I don't know how that did happen though because that was perfectly, perfectly level. But um, yeah, so there's 15 gallons. You can kind of see the difference. Uh, 15 gallons of uh, water, almost 15 on the floor. So that really stinks, but that is why we have uh, the steam cleaner. Um, I use it for uh, water extraction basically, because you know, and that's why I do like having carpet. Um, just absorb stuff. I don't know, maybe down in this room we probably shouldn't have carpet, but I don't know, it just makes it a little less slippery so it's, and it also warms up the room. So yeah, so that is the start of day one of the uh, Feeding Frenzy videos. Um, came in, uh, looked around. I was going to try to beat Emily here to turn on the lights and show you uh, the tanks getting turned on. <clears throat> but yeah, the first thing I did, I saw water. I looked over at our water system to make sure that was not leaking because that would really, really stink. And then I looked over and there was that tank. So we did have some quarries in there, unfortunately. Uh, but I mean, they're, they're fine. No big deal on that. So um, yeah, wonderful. All right. Well, off to uh, cleaning the carpet. Well, decision making at its finest, I decided to rip up the carpet. It was just a little area rug, like a remnant piece that I first put down when I did the store. Um, yeah, that big black stuff is from a can of paint that spilled, or a can of stain that spilled when I was building the store. I stained all the boards down here, and yes, of course, that fell on the floor and made a mess. So, um, But yeah, I, I don't know. Originally, I, I wanted the carpet in here just to kind of warm up the room. We do run the heat a little high in here, um, so it always stays around. Let's see. Well, that's up top, so it's like 78 right now, or 76 up top. So it keeps the tanks like 75, 74. So that's what I usually like the temperature at. So, um, but yeah, this is uh, decision making at its finest. Carpet is up, I'm done with it, and it's going to the trash. So, already, first thing this morning, as soon as I walk in the door, these are zebra albino zebra lace angels that I brought in. The supplier put them all in one bag and they beat the heck out of each other. I actually thought I was gonna lose all of them when I got them in. Um, the bag, they were looking pretty dead. Uh, we did not lose a single one, and actually they're chowing right now, so you can see them, they're seeing my hand. So, um, but yeah, unfortunately now what I'm gonna have to do with these guys is grow them out for a while um, to get their fins a little bit longer, but they are gorgeous. Can't wait to get those up, so. Okay, well, there's day, day one back into Feeding Frenzy and the first 20 minutes of me walking in the store. Well, after the flooding debacle, I got that taken care of, got the carpet out. Actually, my truck is loaded with garbage. Um, so I'm gonna go bring that to the dumpster, um, drying that room out. That really stinks. Don't know why I cracked, it was level. Um, I don't know, kind of stinky. So, um, all right, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is, this is our like little warehouse um, plant grow out room. Um, I have to get all this stuff. Well, that's, there's a whole, there's 52 and a half gallons between those boxes and these boxes over here. I have all these two and a halfs in there. I have to uh, get those painted because I'm gonna be building the new bedded display. Um, oh, actually, let me wipe you off here. You're looking a little cloudy. Um, so yeah, so, uh, you know, I have to get this room cleaned up because we are putting uh, down the center row uh, I have two more racks like these uh, that product are going to be going on on this side. And then I have another rack like that far end wall of the 40s um, that we're going to be putting up for plants. And uh, that's going to be going on this side of it. So I'm going to do, I think it's going to hold three, six, nine. It's going to hold um, six more 40s uh, that will go here. So, uh, and I'm actually taking out, this is... Um, just a big goldfish tank that I have down here. That is coming out. Um, gonna be going to our other warehouse that we have where I store tanks, etc. cetera. Uh, these guys, uh, just a bunch of metal, uh, meta frame tanks, kind of see them right there. 
Um, you know, I do collect those like a crazy hoarder. So those need to go back over to that other warehouse, get those out of here. Um, I gotta finish our uh, little sink system for the water. That's gonna actually be coming through the wall. Um, gotta get that done, move the electric. What else? Yeah, super, super fun. The shelves gotta come out of here. We don't need these anymore. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna like just uh, work on this today. I uh, have Emily and Nicole upstairs, so um, yeah, time to uh, dig my heels in and get things done. This is the unfun part of the job that I do, so um, yeah, kind of not looking forward to it, but I'm going to get it done. All right, so now this is what I'm doing today. I'm actually getting these tanks done. So after the uh, flooding downstairs and I worked on a bunch of other stuff, uh, right now I'm going to work on uh, this. So we set up. I'm going old school, putting under gravel filter in. So um, we are going to use uh, Eco Complete with this, and it is going to be planted. So I do have a tank down in my fish room downstairs here that is uh, that has Eco Complete with an under gravel filter, and it's super cool. So we're going to do it up here. Uh, can't wait to see how this looks. So all right. Okay, so now I have the rock work in. Obviously, the substrate's in. It's a mix of EcoComplete and gravel. Uh, uh, you know, I'm this huge fan of EcoComplete. Uh, as long as it's like 70% EcoComplete versus with gravel, um, you know, the balance of gravel, 30%, I've found that you do not have to siphon it and uh, do any uh, cleaning of it at all. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like a little basic rock work we're doing right now. We're just playing around trying to decide what we're gonna do. Brian is helping me out. So, okay, well, that's where we're at so far. So, day has passed. I'm actually now um, setting up the 40 with plants, popping a few in. Now, again, when you remember with plants, when you're planting them, you're planting them generally smaller and they're gonna grow. So you kind of have to get an idea of how they're gonna look when they're full. Um, you know, this, to give you an idea, that is a oriental sword. When I get them in, they're super tall because they're grown um, immersed. They're grown, or um, yeah, they're grown immersed out of water. That has been submerged. That's like what you want. So we're gonna throw a root tab with that. That's gonna start growing crazy. Um, got a couple cardinal plants. They're actually just gonna start spreading, hopefully in that area. You know, it depends too on what type of light. Now this tank, we are running T5s on there. Nothing crazy. It is shorter, so it's actually gonna pull the plants, uh, or not pull them, it's gonna make them spread a little bit more, and that's what we want, because um, they're not gonna be reaching towards the light, uh, which is like in the, um, the 150. Uh, that's some Vesuvius, uh, Hydrocaudal Japan, love that one, that's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna do a few Scarlet Temples in that corner, that's Philanthera. Uh, Ruffle Sword, I had that just randomly growing in one of the tanks downstairs. It's all melted back, so that's all new. And then um, that's some broadleaf Luigi. I like the red color. Uh, hopefully that'll start, you know, growing taller and maybe spreading out a little bit. So we'll see. These are stems. Um, I am going to fertilize this tank and see how it goes. Um, we also broke apart. Thank you, Nicole, for helping with that. Uh, broke apart some micro sword. Um, I have gnats of this downstairs. We're going to plant it, see how that grows. I've never brought in the mats before. They're very large. Um, you know, it is a little bit more tedious and time consuming, but should be pretty cool. So um yeah that's what we've been doing today really the last i don't know maybe half an hour um i did work on uh, my fish room today moving stuff out of there and uh, you know so work in progress we should have a video out tomorrow of the last few days so okay all right talk to you later well i guess this is the sort of sort of pseudo finished project um you know we'll see how things grow Unfortunately, you know, um, sometimes with stem plants, they don't always catch. Um, uh, this is that micro sword, which uh, obviously we're talking about. So that's all in. I did root tab all that. Um, this is like a, uh, I have large mats that I brought in and then yeah, I cut them up and just kind of plunked them down. So that should, you know, I'm gonna run some fertilizer in here. I may actually end up running some CO2 in this tank. I don't know, we'll see. Um, that's a massive java fern I have like 10 of these things growing downstairs in a couple aquariums in my fish room that are like massive. So Tanner went down and grabbed one of those and uh, that's it. Yeah, so I kind of like it. It'll look kind of cool once it's filled in. Um, you know, that ruffle sword's gonna take a little bit to fill in. I'm hoping some of that stuff will spread over, which it will. Um, that'll keep growing. 
you know, all over the place and even kind of go into this side. These guys, you know, we'll see what happens with them. They'll probably spread out a little bit. CO2 is really going to help that. Uh, Hydrocrotal Japan, this is an awesome plant. This will just kind of keep spreading and get a little bushy. That's super cool. So I'm going to call it a day, call that done. Uh, we're almost closed, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Well, it's Friday morning. I just got in, as everyone's aware. Uh, schools are closed today, massive snow. So not super excited about that. Um, I got to tell you, you know, the store is awesome. We're doing amazing. Uh, everything, oop, look at this. Look what I just saw. I know I'm doing a squirrel. But on the glass, they laid some eggs on the glass. So we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, but, you know, it takes sales to pay for the store, for doing everything, you know. Um, uh, selling product and selling fish and selling plants, it's what keeps us going. So, you know, it's really important. I see days like this. I actually uh, am not a super fan, uh, not a super fan of snow as it is. But, you know, so I don't know. So now I'm thinking, oh, great, I see the schools are closed. You know, people aren't going to be hitting this roads. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, so every time you think before you go to pull a trigger, if you have a local store that really, really cares and, um, you know, and before you pull the trigger online for an item that maybe might be a dollar more, think about how it affects the store itself. It affects it greatly. Um, you know, even every little 3 4 $5 sale matters to us. So we do appreciate everybody who does support us. Um, you know, we are super thankful and, um, you know, hey, it's just what it is. But, okay, so I uh, came in this morning. I haven't even turned the lights on yet. So I beat Emily here, finally. Um, I did shovel out there really quick and uh, I'm gonna kinda turn on lights. I'm gonna show you the RBA difference. This is the difference with our fish. So we've got, what, 100 something tanks up here, soon to be over 200. Um, and I'm gonna turn the lights on uh, down this area here and you're gonna see, hopefully, knock on wood, like nothing dead, and that's the difference. But, um, okay, I'm gonna flip you around. All right, so the lights are off, but yeah, this is the tank that uh, I finished up last night. Now it's clear, plants are in. I had, we threw three giant Daniels in there, um, you know, because that's what we cycle with, generally, either zebra Daniels or giant Daniels. But the tank looks good. I think it's gonna grow pretty nicely, so super pumped about that. But yeah, going back over to these guys, this is their third, fourth batch actually. Today they decided to go on the glass. So, um, you know, they're not going to live in this tank because they're going to keep eating them. And if I decide to pull them, you know, we could pull them. But yeah, confirmed pair. So, um, all right. I did turn the big boys on. I turned a few lights on over there. So let's go. We're going to turn these lights on here. So that turns on this bank. See how they all instantly drop down? So, you know, they're all free swimming and now they drop down. But um, see the schooling behavior? Because at night, when they're scared and they're in defense mode, they all cling together. That's what I love about schooling fish. So you're gonna see that with all these schooling fish. So cardinals, our cardinals are super awesome. But as I quickly walk through, I mean like nothing and got some Zamora wood cats. Right? Everything drops to the bottom because they're in protect mode. They don't, obviously, except for those guys. But So yeah, so now lights are on. That's one row. That's what we call our row one. Nothing. There's not a single dead fish in row one. Um, all right, let's turn on uh, these guys. This one's a little different. These I kind of screwed up. I should have manually, or I should have had one switch on all these. See how they just went right to the bottom? Glowfish. We do have glow sharks in here, by the way. Kind of neat. I know the new glow bettas are out. We're going to be getting some of those. I don't know. I mean, you know, whatever. Bettas are kind of mutated out by us lovely humans anyways. So, um... So many fish are done that way. I mean, listen, rams, angels, discus. So this is a little pain. Got some beautiful peacocks we brought up. Uh, we're jam-packed. Um, 
Let's see, guppies, generally there might be an occasional dead guppy. Let's see. No DOA guppies, nothing dead. That I love. I'll turn on these. So now that's row two. And I'm kind of showing you fish as I'm turning on. I know it's a real pain. Uh, if we ever move and go to a new store, um, build a new building, wink, wink, uh, I'm going to have everything just still be out like one switch like this row. So, all right, so there's row two. Not a single dead fish from what I can see. Nothing. Those angels are finally looking good. I did bring these up. They were so, my supplier shipped these angels all in one bag and they shouldn't have. Um, so they beat up on each other. We lost two originally, or no, actually I think we lost maybe a total of like three or four. I did put them up here because there were so many and I didn't want to move them around, but um, they're really, really nice. Uh, they are basically, uh, as of today, going to be for sale. So, um, yeah, see the rainbows all down to the bottom? It's just crazy how they do that. It's a defense thing. Look at these guys, by the way. Got some gorgeous uh, Kelvison. These are compressor seps. A few different sizes. But if you're into Tanganyikan, these are super cool. There is my giraffe cat. I'm going to be growing him out before he goes into the big tank. Um, all right, so that is row two is turned on. Um, now we'll turn on three. And by the way, there's going to be a row four A, and there's going to be a row four B. We're putting in, ready for this number, dun, 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 96 more tanks in the store. So I think we will officially have... Well, I know probably now we have the largest volume of water probably in any store in Western New York um, in freshwater. But um, I know you're all kind of staring at oh, those guys are NG. Uh, threw some of those Akaras up. You know, we moved some of the other ones upstairs. And uh, there must have been a couple dominant males, and they're beating the heck out of each other. So not great. I'm going to have a look at those today. But, I mean, they're all live. So uh, let's turn on the Oscars. They're all waiting, the little pigs. There they are. Oop. They're like lights, lights, scatter, scatter. Really nice albinos. Arowana, they're ready to go. They're like, come on, feed me, man. So yeah, I'd like to see any other store or any, you know, that sells live goods. I'd love to see it. Let's see it. Throw it out there. Do a video when you're first walking in. This is the nano room. Um, this one, we turn these on individually. This is all changing, by the way, in here. These tanks are going, probably gonna be selling these. So if anybody is gonna want some cool nano tanks, uh, 10 gallons, these are all built in. Gonna be selling these here in a few weeks. But um, yeah, again, nothing dead in these tanks. So that is 100% um, here in the store, nothing DOA, nothing. Got to turn on these lights. So these ones are on switches. Um, that stuff's done. But yeah, I'm uh, quite impressed with myself. Um, I don't know, really, was there anything I'm trying to think of that might not be super great? No, I think everything is super great. Oh, really cool plant. Uh, this is one I've never had before. This is uh, Pogostamon. It's uh, like a rectus in those groups. But this one's Helfiri. Uh, really cool. Um, grows really nice. We'll continue to keep growing um, in with our rams. So I like that one. So if you're looking for a really nice plant, that's really cool. Um, these Threadfin Rainbows. Love these. Look at that. Let's see if we try to get it in there. Sorry about the auto-focusing, it just it happens. But say good morning to these guys. Haven't seen them yet. Come on, guys. There we go. Come on. Hey, hey. Oh, you're biting my finger. So the reason why I don't want people touching all this stuff, the fish, I mean, I know my hands are clean. I don't, I don't have any lotions on them. 
Um, so yeah, but that's why I don't like the, the touchy touchy. All right, so that, I, you know, I tell you, it's funny, I want to do a little thing. I say so, so much. I was going through the videos, editing last night, putting stuff together as far as for this week's Feeding Frenzy video, and I do say so a lot. I don't know what else to say. So come up with something other than so for me. Leave in the comments. I don't know. Come up with a, a word I like. I'll use it, and I'll uh, give you props. But no, I'm kidding. I don't know. So is, it so is what it is. But um, yeah, so I'm impressed. Um, you know, 100 plus aquariums, thousands and thousands of gallons, and we have nothing DOA. I am going to do a few more things today. I'm going to show you guys, and um, then I'm going to pop a video out later today uh, as far as our first feeding frenzy. Have been trying to do it all week. I've been actually shooting videos all week long uh, since we did the little um, uh, vote on it. And everybody did say, yeah, go ahead and do it. We love it. Sounds super cool. And it is kind of cool. Um, there are a lot of different things, you know, like today we got a delivery in, I got to deal with that. And, you know, here's another thing too, not a lot of people know. Every single item in this store, right? Fish, tanks, products, everything, plants is 100% bought and paid for. This industry, uh, I did just negotiate some new things with some big vendors of mine um, that I have that were doing some extended terms. But it took a long time. It took almost two years of me being in business, actually being a corporation of um, doing that. So, and we're an LLC, so. Um, but yeah, so what that means is every single thing I have paid for, bought and paid for. So from a store perspective, you know, when you think about things, um, it's expensive. There's over $100,000 of inventory probably sitting in this building. And then beyond that, obviously, what else I built out. So. You know, if you're thinking of opening up a store, you better have a boatload of cash because that's what you need. Um, because this stuff, you know, and when it sits, it sits. And then we try to buy, like, you know, heaters. I buy 100 heaters at a crack I've been buying or 70 or whatever number it was in the last batch, you know, just so we can keep getting better and better pricing. Same thing with the plants, you know. We buy a crazy amount of plants. Now, downstairs, I have double, if not triple, this amount of plants down there right now. I think there's double. Um, we are going to be triple though, because I am adding more of those tanks that I talked to you about before. So, but all right, okay, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, I just did the final editing of the video, and I saw that we had like our almost final editing video. We had like 22 minutes, so that's it. That's going to be uh, feeding frenzy number one. You know, it's just snippets of what happens throughout the day for me. Uh, you know, as an owner of the, you know, in my opinion, and a lot of others, the best local fish store out there. So. Yeah, that might sound a little arrogant, but let me tell you, we put a lot of work in, a lot of time in to make sure that, uh, you know, we are the caliber that we are. So there's a difference, you know, just like driving in a car. You can buy a car that's, you know, an old used, which I don't mind, my next car I'm getting is going to be used, but like an old used beater that, you know, barely functions, you know, it gets you there from A to B. Generally, uh, along the lines, getting there is difficult, it's breaking down, you're having issues, constant problems. But then when you have a car that's brand new, that's, you know, higher end, uh, it's a comfortable ride. It gets you there very smooth without any issues. So, okay, well, anyways, um, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to start doing this once a week. Uh, make sure to um, follow us on, um, actually, I always forget. what. It, so, no, we, uh, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube uh, and then click the uh, notifications button. Uh, that's going to help as far as when we are putting out more videos. Uh, additionally, to um, like us on Facebook um, and then follow us on Instagram. And then, as always, 24-7, rockbeachaquatics.com. And uh, it's a lot of fun, actually, so I'm going to be pretty pumped to do this. It does take a lot of work to do the editing. i got, a, like, a couple hours, believe it or not, in editing. So, um, yeah, I figure I'd just sit down here. Oh, I am going to show a video. This is my Ripsaw cat. I have trained him to eat out of a tube um, because these guys are crazy, voracious pigs. You know, all the Oscars, which they're all staring behind me because they think they're getting food. The Paku. So what I do, uh, what I've been doing with him, and some of you have seen it, um, come in the store and ask me when you're here. Say, hey, let me see how you feed him with the tube. But he'll actually uh, just come out and he eats right out the end of a tube. And uh, it's super cool. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.